So on the uh, controller, we've got an RS232 output, and that just comes directly into the laptop, and we can configure the controller. And then there's a USB port that goes into the battery monitor at the front, and we can configure the parameters on that as well. So initially on this, we'll change the setup that's necessary. Um, we don't want a foot switch. We've got a zero to five volt sensor. Um, throttle high and dead zone. We'll have that at 90%. And max current, we'll turn that up to full. Um, contact to close time, I want that quite quick. So we'll have that at 0.2 seconds. And I'll just disable any of the reverse functions. Um, low type, high load, because we're racing. Over voltage, about 84 would do. And throttle response, we'll have a, a quick throttle response. Yeah, cut off voltage, so if the batteries were overcharged, it, uh, it wouldn't power everything up. So we've got 72 volts. Um, on a full charge, we'll end up with about 80. So I can set that to 84. Um, the under voltage I'm not concerned about because that's taken care of with the battery control system on the bike itself. Um, where we've got the, um, the cutout there if we go below 60 volts.